Hey, you're looking good today. This is Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom, and here is what's happening. On the front page of the Brazil Times today, we have the second annual Route 40 Fest, and we've got several pictures uh, from that. Also, if you go online to www.thebraziltimes.com, we have a whole uh, uh, gallery of photos taken from the uh, festival that uh, was on Saturday. Outstanding festival, beautiful weather. Uh, I think the mayor said it best. He said if you started counting people, you might be surprised how many are here. And he said the numbers could be deceptive because U.S. 40 through Brazil is wider than many people realize. And uh, also three-quarters of a mile was uh, roped off for the festival. So just an outstanding. They hit it out of the ballpark. And thanks to the Brazil Main Street folks for uh, putting that together for the people uh, on Saturday. A lot of people from out of town came, and of course we want that because we want them to spend money here. I know the mayor said he was talking to some people from Greenwood, and there were from other, some other people from other parts of uh, the state as well. Hey, Ann Bradshaw is here. Speaking of mayor, former mayor Ann Bradshaw has joined us today. Glad to see you. And uh, let's see what else is in the paper today. Well, the Cory Apple Festival is a few days away, and organizers of the 48th annual event have lots planned. The festival, which runs Friday through Sunday, will include new entertainment, such as the Silly Safaris Interactive Animal Show. There will be two shows on Saturday, the first at 1 p.m., and a second different show will begin at 3 Musical entertainment will include Freak Show on Friday at 9 p.m. at uh, the Bad Apple Saloon. Saturday will feature Jimmy and Company from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the basketball courts, while the Bad Apple Saloon will host the Lemon Brothers from 7 to 9 p.m. Hairbangers Ball will begin shortly after the completion of the fireworks, and then gospel music will be shared Sunday morning during the community service and in the afternoon from 1.30 to 3 p.m. And, of course, there'll be antiques, flea market, craft booths, yard sales, food stations on site during the festival. Saturday also includes a kitty pedal tractor pull beginning at 11 a.m. on Depot Street. So a lot going on down in Cory this coming Saturday. Hope to see you there. Do you pickleball? Well, the game's growing in popularity uh, nationwide as well as here in Brazil. Play it once and there's a possibility you could get addicted, reports uh, Ivy Jacobs. According to the numerous players gathering at the Forest Park to play pickleball on the uh, courts, they have taken and divided uh, one, I think, of the uh, tennis courts into two courts for, uh, for uh, pickleball. And Brazil... Uh, Judge Blaine Akers said, I just love it. I like it better than tennis or badminton. It's a good sport for someone my age. Well, any age really. It's more of a game of finesse than a power game. It's very addictive. So, uh, speaking of pickleball, we have uh, picking of a different kind. You may not know his name, but you have probably seen Joe Moody's Chicken that sits in front of his home business at 829 South Forest Avenue in Brazil. Many folks know his business is Midwest Pickers. See, see what I did there? Pickleball pickers, that's what we're doing. Because it's emblazoned on the sides of the truck, he uses to pick through items to find collectible treasures in barns, garages, basements, or wherever people invite him in because they hope their items can be exchanged for money or traded for other items. And he is asking for his home business location to be rezoned from residential to commercial. One of the things we didn't work into the story, and we probably should have, was that there are other home businesses or other businesses that are in his neighborhood that have been zoned uh, commercial, apparently. And uh, he just wants the same thing that, uh, that they have. So, anywho, uh, you can read all about Joe Moody's uh, desire. He says he's not fighting with anyone, but he, he wants to uh, have his home rezoned.
Teresa Taft is here, and Joe Mooney's here. Speaking of Joe, we were just talking about you, Joe. So uh, if you wonder what we said, you can go back and listen to the whole thing, okay? They're okay. Uh, let me see. Also, this was really cool over the weekend. In fact, during the uh, Route 40 Fest, the city and the Historical Society Museum were presented with a Sousa Foundation plaque. In June, the Jackson Township Community Band and the Brazil Concert Band received a plaque from the United States John Philip Sousa Foundation, recognizing the day John Philip Sousa brought his large 75-member band to Brazil to perform a matinee concert. During the Route 40 Fest, band director Matt Huber presented the plaque to the city of Brazil in the Clay County Historical Society Museum. This afternoon, we have a unique ceremony, Huber said, during an intermission in front of the museum. We know that on October 2nd, 1912, John Philip Sousa came to Brazil. Now, Matt wasn't there. He said he was not there at that time. I was not there. I'm sure I'd have probably been covering it for the paper if I had have been, but I was not there that day. Anyway, Huber told about uh, the events of that day when uh, Sousa's band came to town, including a delay of an hour because the trains were running late. Can you believe that? Public transportation running late. Oh, it's hard to believe. Anyway, he presented the, uh, the plaque to Vicki Mace, who's president of the Clay County Historical Society and members of the society board that were there, and to Brazil Mayor Brian Windham. And uh, you can read more about that in today's edition of the Brazil Times or online as well. And let's see here. Another large edition of the Brazil Times today. Here's something that, uh, that I wrote. Uh, I was privileged to attend the Power of the Community Dinner at North Clay Middle School Thursday night. The purpose was to raise money for Clay County's Real Men Read program and last year it raised about $10,000. This year, organizers hope to raise a similar amount, Kathy Deal said. And she's a member of the board of the Wabash Valley United Way, and uh, she's also one of the organizers of the annual dinner. Obviously, I think it's important that people read, and it's obvious that I think kids should read, and I'm thankful that I was taught to enjoy reading at an early age, and I'm Thankful that our grandkids have been taught to enjoy reading as well. And, uh, I had a little opinion piece in there that you can read about. Well, in golf, the Knights played well in the sectional, but they're not going to advance. You can read about that. Uh, and uh, that's, that's too bad, but uh, anyway. Stingy defense led the Knights to a pair of soccer wins. And Josh Harris claimed $4,000 payday in the Patriot 100 race for the UMP Modifieds at Lincoln Park Speedway. And we have those sports stories for you in today's edition as well. Also over the weekend, Ivy Jacobs uh, was there as uh, the Eagles presented a check, a big check, to uh, Police Chief Clint McQueen. And she has a, a story in there about that. That was on Sunday. The presentation was made. And there was only 99 days till Christmas. How about that? 99 days till Christmas. 98 today, I guess. Are you ready? I don't think I am. I do want to say hi to Carol Evans and Evelyn Brown, though. They're with us today. Uh, the story goes on to say, During a Christmas in July event at the Eagles Building, located at 122 East National Avenue in Brazil, the jolly old elf, Eagles writer's vice president, Robbie Litz, dressed up as Santa Claus, uh, climbed aboard his Harley Davidson to lead more than 66 motorcycles on a Sunday ride to benefit the local Shop with a Cop program. And on Sunday, they presented a check for $1,800 to Brazil Police Chief Clint McQueen, and it was raised by that ride. So uh, that's a wonderful thing. And Christmas with a or shop with a cop does a does a great job at uh, at Christmas. And our president Donald Trump, I see in an AP Wire story, uh, has mocked the leader of the nuclear armed North Korea as Rocket Man. 
okay? So he likes to, to go to tweet and uh, sometimes post humorous things or things that he says are humorous anyway. I'm not getting involved in that argument. But anyway, Kim Jong-un has a new nickname, according to the president. He is now Rocket Man. I like that song. Good song. And let's see. We have two sections in today's paper, so be sure you don't just stop with the A section. Go on and, and pull out the B section as well. And what do we have in there? Well, the state is considering revising the regulation of livestock feeding operations. That's the lead story. And then we have a story uh, from our editor, Pete Wilson, about the Brazil Board of Public Works and Safety. And you can, uh, can read what happened at the, uh, the Board of Works in the B section of today's paper as well. And we've got our classified ads that everybody wants to, uh, to see. Also, we have uh, a bunch of photos, a bunch of color photos from Fishing Fun Day 2017. And uh, I think this, uh, this came from uh, Mrs. Eider. I'm trying to remember her first name, but Jack Eider's wife, I think, took the pictures that we have today. And congratulations, uh, Cami Renee Yocum of Brazil, formerly of Staunton, announces the birth of Aisalyn, I think that's how you pronounce it, Grace Yocum, a daughter on December 11th, 2016 at 5.04 p.m. at Union Hospital in Terre Haute. She weighed in at 7 pounds, 7 ounces, and was 21 inches long. So congratulations and to all involved in that, and uh, that's a wonderful thing. And Alpha De Delta Kappa has initiated new members, and we have those pictures for you as well. So a lot going on in today's edition of the Brazil Times. And uh, in Saturday's edition, in case you missed it, the school board, the school trustees, uh, asked questions and received some answers about the uh, corporation's lawsuit with Clay City that we told you about uh, after the uh, Clay City Town Hall meeting, or not Town Hall meeting, the Clay City Council meeting. So anyway, you can check that out. And uh, that story is in Saturday's edition. Also, we have a picture of the new homecoming royalty for Northview High School. And, of course, homecoming at uh, Northview was on Friday night. Well, I'm Frank in the Brazil Times newsroom. Good to see you. I look forward to when we meet face-to-face. -face. See you later.